How's it go? <laughs> How's it going everybody? Dstosh here. And today we're going to be talking about the weapons we've seen in the Halo Infinite trailers and promotional material thus far. Now, this list is actually surprisingly big, so let's jump right into it. First up, we got the assault rifle. Now, uh, what's interesting about this assault rifle is that it's actually the MA-37 variant, which was actually showcased in Halo Reach, or at least a variation of it. I'm, I'm leaning toward it actually being the MA-37, uh, which a lot of people haven't really uh, agreed with, uh, just because I think that there might be events that take place in the upcoming uh, novel Shadows of Reach. Uh, that may lead to them actually getting Halo Reach era weaponry from some type of supply cache. But we've seen this in multiple trailers. Uh, we've seen it in the Xbox console reveal trailer, and we also saw it in the second trailer for Halo Infinite. And I'm actually pretty glad this design is back. I think it's a nice um, evolution of the AR, and it's simple, but, you know, more modern, I think. Going on to our next weapon, it's something that I think may not appear in the game. I think it could be a placeholder based on what's coming up next in this list, um, but that would be the uh, BR-85 rifle. Now, the BR-85 is the primary rifle in Halo 5, and as we can see, these Marines are holding it here. Um, I could say that it looks like it hasn't changed much. The only thing that I could say that looks different about it potentially is uh, it might be missing a sight and it could actually be, be just using crosshairs, which could be interesting uh, if it's actually in the game. Next up, we got what was revealed in a toy reveal as what will many of these uh, following weapons be revealed in. Uh, but it is the BR-55. Now, I'm not sure which variant of the BR-55 this could be. It could just be a new variant. I'm leaning more towards the Halo 3 variant, which I believe is the BR-55 HB. Um, I'm just saying that because it looks kind of curvy, um, which I always thought the Halo 3 one had more curves than the Halo 2 one. Uh, of course, it's also just a low detail toy, so it's hard to tell, but that's what I'm going off of. And we also have uh, the Needler next to it. And as far as I can tell from this Needler, it looks a lot like the Halo 5 Needler. So this could be a placeholder as well. But at the end of the day, we know the Needler is going to be in the game, most likely. And it's probably not going to differ too greatly from what we've seen in the past. After that, I think we have one of the most interesting ones on this list, which is what looks to be the Hydra. Now, I'm not positive that this is the Hydra because it does have a different design, but it could just be that they're adapting the old art style to fit the new one that they've created, and they've streamlined the design to make it bulkier, more military, and perhaps make it darker with this matte black kind of tone to it. Moving on, we have uh, the old faithful energy sword. So what I can tell from uh, this look at the energy sword is it's not too different from what we've seen in the past, Mainly, the main difference I could tell is that the hilt is like a darker color. Um, but other than that, it looks like an energy sword. Moving on, we got the classic Spunker back, so we're not going to have any more uh, cylinder turds from Halo 5. We got the classic Spunker, uh, which I am very happy that it's back. Um, as far as I can tell, it looks like it's holding the traditional spunker design aside from perhaps the uh paint the paint on this spunker is like the others like a jet black and what i'm starting to think is maybe this is just an unfinished model and that further detailing is still gonna happen um but from what i can see it at least confirms that the spunker is going to be in the game and it looks pretty good Moving on, we got another faithful weapon that always appears, the Plasma Pistol. Um, the Plasma Pistol seems to be a lot like the Halo 5 Plasma Pistol, and, you know, it's a Plasma Pistol. <laughs> Not much to say about it. Now, moving on, we have something pretty interesting. We have uh, what looks like the Halo Infinite Pistol. Now, as far as I can tell, this actually looks a lot like a mix between the Halo Reach Pistol and the Halo 3 Pistol, that being... Um, 
more of the detailing of the Halo Reach pistol and coloring mixed with the proportions of the Halo 3 pistol. Here's hoping though that it performs like the Halo Reach pistol rather than the Halo 3 pistol. Or maybe it could perform like the Halo 1 pistol, that'd be pretty nice. And now we got the big boys on this list. We got um, the Brute Shot, or what I believe to be the Brute Shot. Now, many of you may think, like, why would you think this is a Brute Shot? Um, and granted, it may not be the Brute Shot, but based on the handle and the way the grip kind of loops underneath the arm, just like the Brute Shot, I'm thinking that it's a modified Brute Shot um, with the blade uh, filed down or removed. And I think that if it's not the Brute Shot, it could be some type of new uh, Brute Shotgun. But I'm leaning more towards a Brute Shot or a Grenade Launcher. But if you do want to see some shotguns, I'm thinking that this is a shotgun. Now, we don't really know what this gun is, and out of everything in this list, it pretty much eludes me. Um, it could be anything from a pistol to a shotgun maybe even a grenade launcher. Uh, but to me, it looks like it might be a UNSC variant of the Mauler, meaning it's a handgun shotgun. Now, I think this would be really cool to have. Uh, I always kind of like the Mauler, uh, especially dual wielding that thing. If there's dual wielding in this game, that'd be amazing. Um, but it seems, yeah, the UNSC may have adapted the Brute Mauler into their own weapon, and it looks like it might fire shotgun shells. So, that was basically everything we've seen so far for Halo Infinite in terms of weapons. Uh, now, a lot of this was speculation, but um, if this video can provide anything, is I think these weapons are at least confirmed to be in the game, even if they may change their appearance. But, um, if you liked the video, guys, please like it. If you really liked it, subscribe. And this was a D-Stosh. I hope you guys have a great day, and D-Stosh out.